Welcome back to Infigyan, my dear friends. Today in this video, we are going to take up one system of exponential equations. Equations are 2 power x over 4 plus 3 power y over 4 equal to 1 and 81 times 2 power x plus 3 power y equal to 17. We have to find out real solutions. So let's get started by writing substitution straight away. I will consider 2 power x by 4 equal to a. So this will become a. Now second substitution, I will consider 3 power y over 4 equal to b. So this I will write b. So equation 1 will become a plus b equal to 1. Now second equation. I will divide first by 81 both sides. So this one will be over. 2 power x. So we need to simplify these two. So I will raise both sides power 4. See what will come out. Power 4. Power 4. So this equation will come out. 2 power x by 4 times 4. So 2 power x equal to a power 4. And this equation, after raising both sides, power 4, I will be writing 3 power y equal to b power 4. So our second equation will become, I will write 2 power x as a power 4 plus 3 power y as b power 4 equal to 17 over 81. So this is our second equation of the new system where first equation is a plus b equal to 1 and this is our second equation. Now I will consider one system of equation a plus b 1 a power 4 plus b power 4 equal to 17 by 81. Now equations are looking easy. Let's solve this. I will consider a plus b equal to 1 squaring both sides. So I will write a plus b whole square equal to 1 square. So let's apply formula a square plus b square plus twice a b equal to 1. Or we can write a square plus b square equal to 1 minus 2 a b. Now I will write our second equation of the system. It was with power 4. a power 4 plus b power 4 equal to 17 by 81. Now I will use algebraic identity where a power 4 plus b power 4 can be written as a square plus b square whole square. So whole square of a square a power 4 whole square of b square b power 4 plus twice a square b square is extra. So I have to compensate, I will write minus 2 a square b square equal to 17 over 81. Now I will put this value of a square plus b square here. So I will be writing here 1 minus 2 ab whole square minus 2 a square b square equal to 17 over 81. Let's expand a minus b whole square formula. So I will write 1 plus 4a square b square minus 4ab minus 2a square b square equal to 17 over 81. Now 4a square b square minus 2a square b square. I will write 2a square b square minus 4ab plus 1 and take minus 17 over 81. Right hand side will be 0 now. Now I will take away 17 by 81. So I will write 2a square b square minus 4ab. Then I will write plus 81 minus 17. So 81 minus 17 is 
64 over 81. Now you can see equation is divisible by 2. So once we will divide this by 2, equation will become a square b square minus twice a b plus 32 over 81. a square b square minus twice a b plus 32 over 81 equal to 0. Now this is quadratic equation in a b or you can presume a b equal to y or a b equal to any other variable m. So let me write a b directly and I will use Sridharachar formula or quadratic formula. So minus b 2 plus minus under the root b square so minus 2 square is 4 minus 4 a c 4 times a is 1 c is 32 over 81 and divided by denominator will be 2 so i will write 2 a is 1 so 2 a is 2 now i will write 2 plus minus take this 4 out from the square root so it will come out as 2 and inside the square root it will be left with 1 minus 32 divided by 81 and after that we are having by 2 so i can cancel this 2 from the numerator by the denominator 2 so i can write 1 plus minus square root 1 minus 32 over 81 now 32 just simply take the LCM. So I will write 1 plus minus. I will be writing square root 81 minus 32 over 81. So ultimately it will become 1 plus minus. This is 49. So I will be writing 49 divided by 81. And we know it will become 1 plus minus 7 over 9. So if I will take plus sign, then I will write here. If I will take plus sign, then it will become 1 plus 7 over 9. With minus sign, it will become 1 minus 7 over 9. So I will take LCM 9 by 9 plus 7 by 9. Or common denominator 9 by 9 minus 7 by 9. So this will become 16 over 9 or 9 minus 7, 2 over 9. So AB value will be 16 over 9 or 2 over 9. Now equations are more simpler. So I will write 16 over 9 and 2 over 9. This is our AB. And A plus B was 1. Now you can see sum of roots, product of roots. Or you can find out the value of B from equation 1 and put in 2. So I will use this is product of roots. Directly we can frame the quadratic equation. And this is sum of roots. So let me write here in A. So A square minus sum of roots. So I will write 1a that is a. So plus product of roots. So I will write 16 by 9. This is one equation. Second equation with 2 by 9. I will write a square minus a plus 2 over 9 equal to 0. Two quadratic equations we will solve both the equations and we will calculate a first then we will find out b also by using this second equation a plus b equal to 1. So let me apply Sridharachar formula or quadratic formula once again a equal to minus b so 1 plus minus under the root b square so 1 minus 4 ac so 64 over 9 divided by 2a so 2. 1 plus minus see this value will be negative so complex solution will generate so we can exempt this as it is coming out 1 plus minus 
this will be 64 if you will take away this sign will be i outside 64 minus 9 is 55 so i will write i root 55 over 2 but anyhow we will reject this solution as it is complex value complex solutions now come to the second quadratic equation this one a square minus a plus 2 by 9 equal to 0 plus 2 by 9 equal to 0 okay let us apply Sridharachar or quadratic formula minus b so 1 plus minus a square root b square 1 minus 4ac so i will write 4 times 2 over 9 divided by 2a so 2 now I will write 1 plus minus square root of 1 minus 8 over 9 divided by 2. Again we can take LCM 1 plus minus square root 9 minus 8. So it will be square root 1 over 9. So 1 over 3 I will write directly divided by 2. With plus sign it will be 1 plus 1 over 3 divided by 2. With minus sign, it will be 1 minus 1 over 3 divided by 2. So you will write 4 by 3 or 4 by 6 it is. And this value will be 2 by 3. So 2 over 6 it is. So ultimately, we are having A equal to cancel by 2, 2 by 3 and 1 by 3. So we have calculated the value of A a equal to 2 by 3 using this equation a plus b equal to 1 then we can write b will be equal to 1 minus a so 1 minus 2 by 3 so i will write 1 by 3 so this is for a equal to 2 by 3 and once a equal to 1 by 3 b will be equal to 2 by 3 so two set of solutions we have calculated and remember what is our a a power 4 is 2 power x so let us find out the answers so i will write a equal to 2 by 3 then b equal to 1 by 3 and second set is a equal to 1 by 3 and b equal to 2 by 3 now we have to find out a power 4 b power 4 as we all know a power 4 is equal to 2 power x so let me write here a power 4 which will be equal to 2 power x and then i will take the power 4 so it will become 2 over 3 whole power 4 so i will write 2 power x equal to 2 power 4 is 16 3 power 4 is 81 now if I will take log, I will get to know the x value. Similarly, I will calculate for b also. So I know b power 4 is 3 power y. So let me write b power 4 and b power 4 will be 1 over 3 whole power 4. So 1 over 81. So 3 power y equal to 1 over 81. First set of solution from these two equations will be having. Now come to the second set a equal to 1 by 3 so a power 4 will be 1 by 81 3 power 4 and i will write b power 4 this will be 2 over 3 whole power 4 so same as 16 over 81 now a power 4 is 2 power x so vice versa and b power 4 is 3 power y 16 over 81 now we have to only take the log. So let us consider log both sides. Both sides. So let me write here log 2 power x equal to log 16 by 81. Okay, from here we can write x log 2 equal to log 16 minus log 81. So x will be equal to log 16 minus log 81 divided by log 2 similarly 3 power y 
let us take log both sides so log 3 power y equal to log 1 over 81 so y will be equal to log 1 minus log 81 divided by log 3 now come to the rhs 2 power x is equal to 1 over 81 take log both sides so log 2 power x equal to log 1 by 81 so i will write x will be equal to log 1 it is 0 log 81 divided by log 2 similarly for y if i will write directly after taking log y will be equal to log 16 minus log 81 divided by log 3. Now we have to write the x and y values. Now you can see this value only we can write directly it is 1 over 81 as 3 power minus 4. So no need to use log y will be equal to minus 4. And using calculator, if you will check this value, this is minus 2.339. So first set of solution, I will write minus 2.339, comma negative 4. This is one set or one solution. Now come to the second one. So from here, we will be having x is equal to minus 6.339. And y, if you will check, it will come out minus 1.476. So let me write here minus 6.339, comma, minus 1.476. These are only two real solutions for the values of x and y if you will use calculator. I hope you like this video. Thank you so much for watching. Do not forget to like, share, subscribe. Bye bye till next video. Good luck and take care of yourself.